I think apprenticeships are so important. We've got a shortage of skills in the industry and making sure we've got that pool of talent uh, coming through in the industry. Well, the bursters are aiming to help apprentices it just as they're going from level two to level three, at that point where they really need a good set of tools. So these are, this is great. This is a set of tools that will really help them on their path to their career, really, at a point where they haven't got lots of money. And we get an average of about 130 applications for the six bursaries each year now, which gives a very credible number of people um, so that there is a proper vetting process and we end up with probably of the 130, 40 exceptionally strong candidates that are then debated and voted upon in order to win the bursaries. It means a lot to me to be presented by such a prestigious award. I don't think apprenticeships in the UK are pushed enough, especially in schools and education. Anybody can apply for one of our bursaries, provided they've got their level two um, NVQ qualification and they're working towards level three. It's so important to be inclusive. So the, in the plumbers in particular, are not representative of, uh, of females in construction. And also ethnic minorities, we're missing out by not having everybody uh, coming through from apprenticeships. So it's really important to us that the bursaries are open to everybody as well. We installed boilers from John O'Glotz to Land's End for how I've always worked is, I will go do something for free and then all the money would get donated to candlelighters. So the person that's, that's donating, if you like, He's not paying no more money than they would normally pay. So if they're going to get a new boiler fitted, they pay the same money as normal, but then that money would go to the go to charity. So originally, when I first started doing it myself, I paid for the boilers and I paid for all the stuff, and I just did the work quietly, never told nobody. But that wasn't sustainable for me, so I started doing charity installs then, where they were partly funded. The way I could help was through providing products. So I talked to uh, everybody in Ariston and the other grade and we supplied a lot of boilers so we'd give them for free so that we could uh, try and raise as much money as we can and we did. And we've been talking to some really interesting companies today so it would be great to increase the number of bursaries uh, that we're offering over time but we can only do that with help from great companies. I was absolutely delighted to, that we had two female winners of the bursary uh, this year and I think there are some really exciting uh, women coming into the industry as well and in the case of one of those uh, bursary winners you know it was her mum uh, and her business that brought her into the industry how fantastic is that I ten years ago I'm, I'm not sure I'd have seen that so there are women out there it'd be just great to see more I've always sort of had a bit of an interest in it. Um, like, I think I drained my first radiator when I was about five. So, um, <laughs> I'm, that, that doesn't mean I'm super amazing, but, I, you know, I've always just enjoyed it, really. Um, and it got to my final year of school, and I was a bit like, oh, I don't know what to do, I'm not sure what to do. And my mum just said, why don't you do your level two diploma, go to college? And I loved it, and my tutors were just amazing. So once I finish my apprenticeship, that includes my level three MVQ and my gas. So then I'll be gas safe, and then I'll sort of dip into the realm of boilers. <laughs> it's a whole other world, really. Um, but we we'll just see where I go from there. I mean, I don't even know where the gas industry is going to go. And then there's the whole renewables. That's a whole new minefield <laughs> to get your head round. So just sort of take it as it comes. I love it. I, I enjoy every day, honestly. I enjoy going to work. 